Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a weekly reading for mid-August. Hope you're all doing well. This is a general reading, so it may not resonate with every single one of you, so I do encourage you to watch your other placements. But let us just jump right in and see what the universe has for you. So I feel like a lot of you have been stressing about something here that didn't work out, but um, everything will be fine. That I can say for sure. I feel like whatever didn't work out in the recent past was a blessing in disguise. So take that as it resonates. definitely um there's going to be something happening here very soon that i think is going to change your perspective on this whole situation and it's going to make you realize that something so much better is going to happen because of whatever didn't work out you just don't know yet but it's going to happen very very soon it's just a matter of time yeah so with the night of swords at the bottom of the deck i feel like a lot of you are going to be getting a call to action um something here is going to move you forward in a way that you maybe didn't anticipate but it's just going to happen and you're going to you know you're going to go towards something i feel like there's going to be um or there was a something stressful something that disappointed you in the recent past is going to motivate you to go forward and to go towards something and i think that that is the beauty of um the transformational energy that we get when we are in a bad situation that kind of just fuels us you know it's like when we're finally sick and tired of something not happening or something not working out or when we're unsatisfied with some sort of aspect of our life that's kind of like the switch it's kind of like what we need to just kind of move forward and do something completely different and take action. I feel like something here hasn't been working out in your life. And instead of you moping around and just letting it defeat you, I see that you are going to be taking action effective immediately. And that is really great. Um, with the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, um, this is what I was getting about, you know, being disappointed and being hurt or sad about something that didn't work out in the recent past and i feel like um this was something that you thought was going to become you know this big thing or you really had high expectations and high hopes for this but it didn't work out and it kind of has been making you feel sad making you feel defeated um you know it's been kind of bringing you down but i feel like the reason why it didn't happen is because there's something so much better um, that's going to happen and with the tower and the ace of pentacles this is that confirmation so something's going to happen very soon um, it's going to give you this new opportunity and it's going to open up this new door that you didn't even think was going to open up so just look out for that it's going to be happening very soon but a new opportunity a new offer um, something is going to be coming towards you and with the everything is fine in the page of cups if you were worrying about a love situation or some sort of relationship don't 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 worry about it because everything is fine quite literally i love it when this card comes out because it doesn't get more clear than that um but with the page of cups i do feel like there's going to be a new chance in love a new opportunity doesn't necessarily mean a new love it could be a new love for some of you but for those of you that are already in relationships if there was something here that didn't work out recently or there was some sort of argument or you know a fallout a separation i feel like there's going to be a new opportunity with this person um for some for some of you it is a new person and uh, you know it could be talking about the fact that in the recent past 
you wanted to have a relationship with someone, it didn't work out, but now you're going to be getting the chance to find new love. And with the Temperance and the Five of Pentacles, I feel like some of you felt abandoned and felt like you were kind of pushed aside and displaced by another person. But I think that that gave you the time that you needed to kind of understand something. It's like you had to learn something. You had to go through some sort of um, karmic cycle here in order to learn a lesson that only you could have learned had you been disappointed or abandoned from the situation um, and given the time to kind of put things into balance. So it's not to say that this had to happen, but because it happened, um, you're able to see things differently from a perspective that you might not be able to see see it from had you not gone through this. So it's like one of those, everything happens for a reason. Um, and I think that you're starting to realize that now. So I think whatever happened in the recent past, it's opening up this opportunity for you now to kind of see things and get things um, in a different way. Um, so I'm getting, honestly, if this is about a relationship, I feel like you're learning to accept that you deserve better and learning to accept that even though you thought the person that you were with was going to be the one, you're going to get someone even better that actually respects you and is going to value your worth. So let's clarify the Nine of Swords. So with the Nine of Swords, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. A lot of people are getting Eight of Wands. I feel like um, a lot of us are going to be receiving a lot of confirmation, um, clarity, and just insights about things that maybe we didn't understand before. Um, I feel like things are just going to become more clear. And I feel like a lot of us are going to be more honest with ourselves about what we consider to be the truth. So take that how it resonates, but basically with the Nine of Pentacles, to clarify the Nine of Swords, I feel like what you were stressing about, um, it's gonna be replaced by you really focusing on yourself. So it's that same energy of the beginning of the reading, you know, with the Knight of Swords. It's something that disappointed you is gonna motivate you to put more energy into yourself. It's like, instead of focusing on what didn't work out, you're gonna put all that energy into yourself. You're gonna invest in yourself. You're gonna take care of yourself your health, your, you know, happiness, stability, um, finances, career, school, whatever it is that you are, that you want to do for yourself, that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to go from Nine of Swords to Nine of Pentacles real quick. Let's clarify the tower with the Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> interesting wow 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 um so you could be dealing with a scorpio um or it's just you know if there's a matter of fact um an ending here so to clarify the tower and the ace of pentacles to clarify this event um that's going to lead to a new opportunity is clarified by you making a decision to accept that something has ended you know it's interesting how that happens it's like sometimes we'll have some sort of event happen in our lives it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad one the tower does not equal bad um, but it's just something that happens something that kind of you know it's like the domino effect one thing leads to another and we can't really stop it once it starts but it's like you have to choose to see this as a good ending and as the ending of a cycle so that a new one can begin and so that you can attract better. Sometimes when we hold on to things and we keep a cycle going when it's supposed to end and we don't choose to end it, we don't attract these new beginnings. So I think it's up to you right now to choose to see this as something that has to end, to see this as the ending of something for a new opportunity to come to us. Let's clarify the temperance with the five of pentacles. Okay, so we got, interesting, the eight of wands with the eight of cups. I really, really, really believe that this is confirmation that whatever it is that left you feeling abandoned, um, it's leading you to 
realize that you would have walked away from this anyway because there's something here that's going to make sense to you um, in a way that will kind of justify why this had to happen. So in the moment, feeling abandoned, things not working out, being disappointed about a situation, maybe even losing the opportunity, losing a job, losing money. In the moment, it could feel like the most devastating and horrible thing that could ever happen. But as always, and with anything, with time, we learn so much about why these things happened, what they mean, and how they're actually restoring balance in our lives. And I think that you're, you're, you're realizing that you would have walked away from this eventually because what you're realizing now, what you're understanding now is just, you know, it, it, it's just like you're, you're having an epiphany. I really believe you're having an epiphany about why it is that something didn't work out. Let's clarify the Page of Cups with the Everything is Fine card. Okay, so with the Everything is Fine card and the Page of Cups, we got the Three of Cups with the Knight of Wands. I feel like you're going to be in a position where you're going to be meeting new people. And you might be attracting someone new. You might be attracting a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or someone that you find attractive or someone is going to find you attractive. Point is, I think you're going to be talking to other people, socializing, collaborating, um, making new connections that are going to just illuminate your life and your perspective. And I think they're going to make you forget all about, all about this. All about this. That's where I think this, this energy is where you're going to meet this new love. Um, but again, it's gonna, this, you know, kind of energy of getting together with new people and making new connections and going towards, you know, passion and being driven by things that make you feel alive. It's, it all comes from you choosing to see this ending from the recent past as just the opening and the event that will allow you to attract a new opportunity. Alright Cancer, if that resonated, please hit the like and if you would like to see more, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.